time. I've got it plugged in. What do you got? Hold on. One second. No. Test, test, test. Just testing out the microphone to see if there's. For all that, anybody who's watching later, we're just testing out our sound because the microphone hasn't been working. So, I'll uh, come in a little closer. All right, good morning. I'm going to speak up a little bit now. I'm talking to the camera mic, so if you don't hear me quite as well, um, turn up the volume. So, today's class. Uh, well, first of all, I'll give you guys a few minutes for people to join up before we start for real. But today's class, we're going to finish up a little bit on some lessons we did earlier this week. Remember, this week we've been talking about self-control. And all of you who are in my class know we talk about self-control all the time. It's one of the most important things we do in our karate class. We are going to warm up like we do every day. We're going to do some, uh, some workouts. I'm going to play a game with you. We're going to do the stuffy the stuffed animal dodgeball game, but we're gonna do it a little different today. Today, I'm gonna to throw them at you. Aha, wait a minute, Sensei, how's that gonna work? Well, you'll see, I'll show you when we get there. Uh, after that, we're gonna work on some, our one pinion and our dragon form a little bit. We're gonna work on our kick some more. I'm gonna show you another kicking exercise that you can do at home, and we'll find a way to do it here. And then uh, I will we'll work on our, um, self-defense moves. So you've learned things like the snake move or the monkey drill or a few other moves that we've done in karate. We're going to do something new today called Kempo Techniques. And I'll just show you some fun moves you can do that way. And then we'll finish up and maybe with one more game and a little lesson and then we'll call it a day. So I hope you're all having a great day so far. The week is almost over. It's Friday today, but I'm ready to get started. So if you're here now and class at, and you know, we haven't done the official beginning, remember, you can always do your loosening up, start with some workouts, just moving your arms around a little bit. Uh, good morning, Anna. It's good to see you. I always like it when you come to class and work out with me. Uh, so just moving things around right now, right? We're just getting loose. This is the warm up before the class starts. We're all here early and we're getting ready for class. So you're getting yourself loose. You know, what could you do? You could practice some kicking moves, right? Just doing some of your light kicks. Just working on doing the flamingo. Remember that? When you pick your knee up, push it out, and then bend it again. One, two, three, four. And then I'll go the other leg like that. And it's always good to start light. Right? Just doing some front kicks. Always keeping my hands up when I do this. So if you had a pretty good week, it's been a little cold today. Today's a cold day. I was outside for a little bit this morning, and it was a bit chilly. One of these days when the weather's nice, we'll do this karate class outside. That would be fun to do. All right, let's see. I'm going to make some arm circles. Again, we haven't officially started yet. This is just getting loose while people join in. Right? Are you getting ready now? While we're waiting, and uh, if you're watching this later on, um, I'm going to have my basket full of stuffed animals like I've had for the last few classes. You don't need some or so many today, but if you want to bring a couple, keep them handy. I also have a pillow with me today. <clears throat> we're going to use a pillow for part of the warm up. So if you want to use a pillow, you can do that. You could use one of your stuffed animals too, right? We just want something to do a little toss on the ground or some swinging with, okay? The pillow is nice because it's soft and if we accidentally drop it, it won't bump into anybody in our house and give them 
a headache. All right, let's see. Maybe one more minute, and it'll be time. It'll be time. All right, now who can show me how to start class? Do you remember what to do first? Hey, Delilah. Hey, Daniel. Thank you for joining me in karate today. I'm going to uh, start at front position. Remember that? Put your feet together. Right hand up, left hand down. And then that's it. Front position. Front position, right? So that means your feet are together. Your right hand's in the fist. Your left hand's open. And then you close. Wait a minute. Are there some DeRosier girls watching my class today? Hmm. Hmm, I might, somebody told me that you might be watching today. Well, anyway, front position. Put your hands together like this. Can you say, knowledge in the mind? And then you're going to go like this. You're going to say, honesty in the heart. See what I do with my hands? Then I go back to the front position. And I close them up. Strength in the body. And then bow. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is bounce around. So get up on your toes, right, and bounce let your arms stay floppy. It's time to warm up. Now I'm gonna warm up just with the bounce today. We'll, we'll get some other moves in a minute, but first I just wanna be loose, loose, like a rag doll. If you're not sure what that looks like, it'd be like my turtle here. See, he's pretty loose. It's a close up view. See how loose he is? Oh my gosh, he's losing control. <laughs> floppy arms, floppy legs. Stay right there, turtle. All right, now we're gonna turn this into jumping jacks, but first, I just want you to move your feet in and out like this. Let your arms stay loose. Get a little closer. Now, if you want to, for fun, you can move around while you do this. I'm going back and forth. I can go side to side. Now, can you add your arms into that? Up and down with your arms? Tell you what, let's play a little game of follow the leader. Whatever I do with my jumping jacks, you have to copy me, okay? I'll start out with regular jumping jacks. Good. Get your feet and your hands going. How about turning in a circle? <laughs> How about you go the other way? All right, can you jumping jacks on one leg? Whoa. <laughs> How's your balance? Don't fall down. Switch. Not bad. Back to regular freeze. Just your arms. Just your feet. Now freeze. Oh. Take a little break. Shake everything out. Let's try something else. Can you do push-ups? Did you say yes, sir? Remember, class. Anytime Sensei asks you to do something. Say yes, sir, and then do it. So if I say, class, five push-ups, you would say, yes, sir, and then you would do five push-ups. Let's try it. Ready? Class, five push-ups. Good. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. How'd you do? Were they good push-ups? Was your body straight? Did you bend your arms all the way and then push all the way up? Hmm. We'll work on those again tomorrow. All right, let's play a game. So I told you, <laughs> I've got my basket full of stuffed animals here. So we're going to play a game, the stuffed animal dodge. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to put my friends out here. <sighs> i got a whole pile of them. And I'm going to put this right there. All right, so... I'm going to take the, dog, the stuffed animals and I'm going to throw them right at you. That's right. They're going to come flying right through the camera, go through the internet, pop out of your screen, and bop into you if you don't move out of the way. So, when you see a stuffed animal coming towards you, you are going to jump out of the way. You can move to the side. You can jump backwards. You could duck down. <laughs> Right? Or you could go the other way. Any one of those you want. Make sure if there are other people around you that you watch where you're going so you don't bump into them. All right, here we go. So 
So let's see, let me get my pile ready. I'll get them a little closer. All right, here we go. So here comes Hello Kitty. So when I throw it at you, you jump out of the way. Are you ready? Did you say yes, sir? Here it comes. Oh. Did you move? Nice job. Oh. Ha. Oh. Look out. They might come fast or they might come slow. Oh. Nice job. That was fast. How about Stitch? Koala bear. Here comes a turtle. Do you know where, wait a minute. Do you recognize this guy? Who's that? <laughs> That's a pig. Huh. Another puppy. Nice job. Did you get out of the way? You want to try it again? Let's see. Let me get my friends here. We'll do that one more time. Look out, there's a turtle. <laughs> okay, last time, ready? Now, when you get ready this time, I want you to stand in a guarding stance. One foot back, hands up. If it comes right at you, you jump to the side. Ready? Jump. Oh. So you've got to wait. What are you watching for? Are you watching for the animal to move? Only when it comes towards you. Well, pretty good. Two more. Oh, <laughs> that one almost got you. All right, nice job, everybody. Oh, I forgot about this line in here. All right, now I'm backing up. Did you get out of the way? Now, you know what? That was kind of a silly way to do it with Sensei and the camera, but you can play that game at home with your mom or your dad or with your brothers or sisters if you've got them there to help you. You could have somebody hold the animals and toss them into the air. You notice I didn't throw them too hard. I started easy at first. All right, so that's the stuffy dodge. Let's work on a move, okay? So everybody stand in your guarding stance. Remember this? A guarding stance is one foot in the back, one foot in the front, both hands up. And what you're going to do is you're going to imagine that there's a person next to you right here. Okay? And what you're going to do is if that person's over there, they're coming towards you with their hand. They're reaching out. You're going to do this. Everybody say, step block. I take this. If I'm going that way, I take the leg that's on the same side and the hand that's on the same side, and I step towards them. Maybe you're going to step on their toe. And then I take my hand and I swing it down like this. Step block. And then I'm going to step towards them again and do a punch like this. Step punch. And then I go right back to my garden stand, facing the front. So it's like this. Person on this side, step block, step punch. And what I'll do is I'll say go. Okay, and when I say go, we'll do that move. Step block, step punch. And then you come right back to here. So everybody show me how you bounce in your guarding stance. We're only going to go this way. It's always going to be step with the same leg the, and block with the same hand. Okay? And then later on, we'll work on the other side. So I'm in my stance. My hands are up. I'm bouncing around. I'm watching. Everybody ready? Go! Step block. Step punch. And then come right back. Pretty good. Still going the same way. Go! Step block. Step punch. Now, the first couple times I did it, I went slow. Step block, step punch, and then back. But when I'm good at it, I can go faster. Go! Step block, step punch, and then back again. Not bad. One more time. Go! Step block, step punch, and then back. All right, let's try the other side. So this time, we're going to go that way. Uh, so if I'm going that way, that's the leg that's closer. It's already there. I'm going to step with that leg. Block with the same hand, and then step and punch with the other side. Step, block. See? Same leg, same hand, and then step, punch. Moms and dads, if you're watching this, and the kids aren't doing it perfectly, that's okay. 
I want them just to do the moves, right? As long as they're moving towards that person, that imaginary person. By the way, you know what you could do? I think we've done this before. If you want, and you've got a stuffed animal, you could put your stuffed animal friend right over there and pretend that's the bad guy. <laughs> I'll put this one over here. Sure, we're in our guarding stance. Hands are up. Now we're going to go to this side. Ready? Go. Step block, step punch, and then I go back again. Try it again. Go. Step block, step punch. Mm hmm. I'm going to do it faster for two times. Go. Step block, step punch, and then back. Woo -hoo. One more time. Go. Step block, step punch, and then back. All right, now, going to make it a little harder. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to point to one side. Whatever side I point to, that's the way you're going to go. Okay? So you go whatever direction I'm pointing. So we're all facing each other. If I point this way, step block, step punch, and then back. I'll get a little closer. If I point that way, step block, step punch. And then we come back to the front. All right, here we go. Hands up. I'm not going to say the name of the direction. I'm just going to point. You go the same way that I'm going. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Oh. Uh huh. Oh my gosh! That's fast. Ooh. All right, slow down, take a break. So the whole move is step with one leg, block down with the same hand, then step with the other leg, and punch. Nice job. All right, let's see. I'm going to do a little kicking exercise with you. I think we're going to practice the roundhouse kick. So I'm going to use my chair again. So class, if you don't have a chair, you can use anything that you can lean on, okay? This could be your couch, put your arm on the, I'll put your hand on the arm of the couch. It could be a mom or a dad that you can put your hand on, but you want something that will help you stay up so that if I pick one leg up in the air, I can help my balance by holding on. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna have a pretend target, okay? What's a target, Sensei Dave? Well, a target is anything that you are aiming at. Today, we're going to aim at something with our foot. We're going to make our foot touch an object, but we're going to make it an imaginary, okay? And the thing we're going to aim at is either going to be high, low, or in the middle. So if I say high, you will do your move high in the air. If I say low, you do your move low in the air. And if I say middle, well, you go in between. All right, so first let's do the kick. We're doing a roundhouse kick. And remember, class, a roundhouse kick is when you hold your knee up and your foot like this. See how they're the same height? Remember what I call this one? Right, the dog leg. It's like you're a dog and you walk up to a tree and you lift your leg. See that? Then I'm going to grab my foot and pull it back. And I'm leaning on my chair or my dad, or my mom, or the couch, <laughs> just to help. By the way, you can do it without leaning too, but we're gonna use leaning so we can make it easier. So, in order to do this kick, I hold my leg back, and all I'm gonna do is straighten my leg out, and then bend it again. That's it. But I'm trying to hold my knee up the whole time. So first, let's just practice the kick by itself, and then we'll do our targeting drill, okay? So, all I want you to do is grab your foot, Lift your knee and your foot up nice and high, and you can hold on to your leg. See how I'm doing that? I'm going to point my knee backwards a ways. Let's say I'm aiming, I've got a lamp over there. I'm going to straighten my leg out and point my leg at the, at the lamp. Let's do that 10 times together. Every time I say one, or every time I count, you do straighten your leg out and then you bend it. Ready? One. That's it. Two. So all I'm doing is holding my knee up and making my leg straight. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's switch sides. 
Whatever we do on one side, remember we have to do on the other. So if you did class with me earlier this week, we did this, we did this exercise already. But we're going to change it a little today, because now we're going to do some targets. Okay, so I'm going to balance on the chair, balance with my hand on the chair. I'm going to lift my leg up like the dog, <laughs> grab my foot, pull it back. And I'm kind of pulling my foot close to my bottom. So I, and then I'm going to try to point my knee up like this. Here we go. Let's do 10. One. So see, I just made my knee straighten out, and then I bent it again. Two. And I'm holding my foot here to help me get a stretch. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay. There we go. Now my legs are nice and loose and a little warmed up. So let's try... The target. So I'm putting the chair on the other side. So I'm going to pick whichever leg you want to kick with. We'll practice with both. So now we're going to do high, middle, low. If I hold my leg up the same way and I say low, you point your leg down and you kick low like this. If I say middle, you hold your leg up a little higher and you kick middle. If I say high, you really try to lift your leg as high as you can and you go high. Whew. <laughs> And see how I had to lean over a little bit more, which is why it helped to lean on something. So let's try it. Okay, three levels, low, middle, high. Now what you can do for real fun later on is if you have a partner and a pillow or a stuffed animal, you could have somebody hold the pillow up for you, right? They could hold the pillow high and you could tap it with your foot. They could hold the pillow low, you could tap it with your foot, or they could hold it in the middle. So if you've got a partner who wants to hold the pillow for you, you could do that. I'm just going to do imaginary pillows. Here we go. So grab your foot, lift it up like a dog, like lean on your chair or your dad or whoever's there holding you up. Maybe it's mom. All right, here we go. Ready? Show me low. So see, I point my leg down, low, and then I grab it again. Middle. Now I do one right in the middle. And then high. Uh oh. Uh, Got to lean over. Go high. Middle. High. See how I took my time? You don't have to rush. Low. Middle. Low. High. Oh. Now, whatever, whatever is high for you might be different than high for Sensei Dave, right? I can't go really, really high, but if you're pretty flexible, maybe your high is way up there. Mm, okay, get back. Show me low. Show me middle. High. Yeah. High again. High again, middle, low. All right, now, low, middle, high. And then hold it. How about high, middle, low? And take a break. Let's try the other side. Now you can play that game with mom or dad or with the partners at home. So after class today, once I've shown you this drill, you could do it all by yourself. Practice moving your leg around like that. And the higher you can go, Right? The more flexible you are. By the way, do you have to be able to throw your foot way up in the air? No, you don't have to. But if you can, it means you're pretty flexible. And it's easier to do the kicks when you kick down here, right? You don't get hurt. All right, so here we go. I'm going to grab my foot on the other side. High, middle, low. Let's see what we got. Ready? Show me the low. Are you ready? Middle. High. Oh. It's not bad. Middle. High. Low. Middle. High. High again. Middle high. Middle high. See, I want to change it. Low, middle high. Low, middle high. Ooh. One more time. Ooh, let's see. Get your balance. High. Middle. High. Low. All right, take a break. Now, we just did that for a short time. Remember, you can practice more. Let me come in close, class. Remember what Sensei says about practice. I'm showing you the kicks that I want you to learn. But it's up to you to practice them to get good at them. If you come to my class, or you do this class while you're in your living room, and you only do it on the one day you see Sensei, well, that'll be fun. 
and you might get some exercise, but you won't get a lot better if you only do it that one time. Think about it. How many times do you have to practice something before you're good at it? Sometimes we try something new and we're good at it pretty fast. But even if you are, could you be better? Did you say yes, sir? Yeah. So what's better to make you better? More practice or less practice? Hmm. Did you say more practice? If you did, I think you're right. I think I agree with you. More practice will make me better more than less practice. So, when you're done with class today, maybe tomorrow, you try those kicks again. All right, let's do something new. I'm gonna back up here a little bit. So, let me show you a technique, a karate technique. What we're going to do is pretend that there's a person right in front of us, I'll turn sideways so you can see, who is standing like this and they wanna bop me in the nose. Or maybe they wanna grab my shirt. I don't know why, but we're just gonna pretend for now that that's what's going on. Hey, you, leave me alone. Nope, they're not leaving us alone. They're gonna do a karate punch or a kick or something to us. So what do we do if that happens? Well, you know, we talked about this another week when we talked about being safe. We could try, if that's happening, to use our words. Maybe we could say something to the person and make them go away. Right? We could use our legs. We could just run away if we need to. If we can't change their mind. We could ask for help. But let's imagine we tried those things. We tried to tell them to stop and they didn't stop. We tried to run away and we couldn't. And we tried to get help, but there was nobody there to help. So now it's just me. Now I've got to do something. Hmm. So let's pretend that this person is reaching out with their hand just like this. And it's coming right at my nose. Whoop. All right, so that's a punch. So what we're going to do is just what we did in the beginning with the stuffed animal. We're going to dodge out of the way. So here comes that punch. It's coming towards my nose. So I'm going to take a step. Uh -huh. Remember what we did before? We did a step. So I'm going to step with this leg and go that way. But you could do it with the other leg. So when I say, when I say step, right? We're pretending that person's punching. Ready? Step. That's it, all I did, and then come back. So I'm here, I'm looking at the person, their hand comes at me, step! And I took a little step and move out of the way. Now, don't go too far, because we're gonna do some more moves after. All right, now, I'm in my stance, I'm waiting, this person is in front of me, I stepped out of the way. Now I'm gonna take the hand, the other hand, and I'm gonna knock their hand out of the way. I'm just gonna use my arm, and we call that move a block, when your hand knocks them out of the way. So you go, step, block! That sound familiar? Yeah. But we did it different. We step with this foot and we block with the other hand. And what are we blocking? Right, we're blocking their hand as it comes towards us. We move and we knock their arm out of the way. And then we take this hand that's up here and we're gonna use it. See how I got it all closed up like this? And we're gonna go from there, we go pow. We just swing it out like that. Okay, so here we go. Three moves. Step, block, and then this move, I'm using the side of my hand, say hammer. I just hammer. Hit the side of my hand right into that person. So we go step, block, hammer. Whoa. Let's try it. Slow motion. Ready? So the person's punching. We step, block, and then hammer. I'm going to get closer so you can see it. Ready? Step, block, hammer. <laughs> when you're good at it, you can do it pretty fast. But remember, when you're practicing something new, is it better to go fast or is it better to go slow? I right, think about this for a minute. I mean, feel, going fast feels really good, and it's a lot of fun to go fast. But if I go too fast, maybe I'll make a mistake. Hmm. I don't want to make mistakes now, so I'm going to go slow. And then, as I get better, I can get faster. All right, here we go. Hands up. The person's punching. So we step. We block. 
and then we hammer, and then we get back. Try that again. Ready? Go. Step. Block. Hammer. Hmm. Now I'm always stepping with this leg. And we could go the other way. We could step with this leg, and we could block and hammer that way too. Okay? All right, let's do one more move. We're going to add something to it. This whole, this whole defense move has four pieces to it. We go step, block, and hammer. That's three. Here's the last one. I open my, the other hand up like this, and I turn my body, and I push my hand like that. And when I hit with my hand like this, we say palm, right? And that's what you call this part of your hand right here, the palm. So I'm going to go step, block, hammer, palm. Like I'm taking my hand and bopping them inside the head. Oh boy. <laughs> now remember friends, if you don't remember this tomorrow, that's okay. You can watch the video again and practice it more. See if you're going to remember. Get in your stance. Slow motion. Step. So I move my foot. Now the other hand. Block. Then the same hand. Hammer. Now the other hand. Palm. And then I get right back here. Stand like this because to get ready for the next thing. Here we go. The bad guy's punching towards your nose. Step. Block. Hammer. Palm. See how I keep my hands up here? I don't want them hanging down here. They're up here. Try it again. Step. Take your step. Block. Hammer. Palm. Oh, ho, ho. Now, when I say go, see if you can remember to do the whole thing all by yourself. Should you go slow or should you go fast? If you said go slow, you were right. I agree with you. Here we go. In your stance. The bad guy's coming at you. Step. Block. Hammer. Palm. And then back again. Do it again. Go. Step. Block. Hammer. Palm. Don't worry if you're not getting it right yet. You just keep trying. I'm going to go faster. Go. Step, block, hammer, palm. Oh, I did them fast. Now, Sensei has done this move for a long time, so I can do it fast because I put lots of practice. That's right. I practice. The more you practice, the better you get. All right. Let me leave you with a thought. I'm going to come on in nice and close so you can see this. So remember the beginning of class today? If you were here to see the beginning, I talked about a word, self-control. Can you say self-control? Good. Remember, self-control means that you are in control of your body and your feelings. Remember we said last week that if you have a strong feeling like being mad or being afraid or even being sad, that's normal, everybody feels those things, but what do you do when you feel those things? That's what self-control is. It's when you feel mad, but you don't throw a tantrum or throw a toy. You don't yell or hit. You get control of yourself. Does that mean that you don't feel mad anymore? No, everybody feels mad. But when we have self-control, we can keep our, tell our bodies from doing things that we might not feel good about later on. So, I want you to think about that this week. Self-control. Can you be in control of your body? If you remember last class, what do we say about a person with self-control? What kind of person has self-control? A weak person? Or a mighty person? Right. A mighty person is one who has self-control. So I want to see you become a mighty person. All right, everybody, take a step back. Let's finish up by going to front position. Put your feet together. This hand, the right hand is closed up in a fist. The left hand is open. You cover them up. Stand very still. Boy, self-control means I can stand still when I have to. All right, put your hands together. Can you say knowledge in the mind? Then put your hands like this. You see that one? Make a little window. Can you say honesty in the heart? And then you go back to front position. Strengthen the body. 
and foul. All right, everybody, nice job. I'll be back again next week. Uh, we'll be doing some more classes. And next week, I'll also be adding in some more story time. So if you want to hear Sensei read some stories, I think I told you that I might read you the tales of Bunjitsu Bunny. Or you might hear a story about a kid and a potato. I'll see you then. Have a great day, everybody.